Oh my god, it's been a while since we've seen a Transformer like that. Look at this. This bot looks great as well. Nice rubber you got there. I, I, <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy though. How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to Besiege. Today we're gonna start off by going to freaking space because we are playing with the SpaceX Falcon 1. This is a six stage rocket where we have to deploy a payload in hopefully Besiege space. Now I have done a few test flights for this and I should be dead by now because this thing is extremely dangerous. We're gonna give it our best shot though and see how high we can get. So let's spawn this thing up and we're going to engage the rockets. So main engine ignition on. We are going to launch it right away. And the great thing, well, it depends on what you think by great, but the uh, difficult thing about this rocket is you actually have to manually control it. There is no stability at all. So this is all my doing, trying to keep this thing as straight as possible. It's not the easiest thing. Okay, rocket's done. We are going to deploy. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That was not in protocol. Oh God. Okay, lift it up. It's okay. We haven't died yet. Yet is the key word on that, on that situation. We're actually doing okay. Oh, no, we're not. No. Nope. Okay, invisible walls. Didn't think about that either. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Go this way. Oh, my God. Driving a rocket is not easy. Okay, there we go. Next stage. Burn it. This time, can we keep it straight? This is so difficult. We need onboard computers for this thing. Okay, I'm actually having it somewhat stable. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, God. Oh, we're gonna hit the wall again. I could tell. I went totally the wrong way. And <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. Oh, I think we got it. Engines should be slowing down now. I hope we actually don't reach the freeze zone. Uh, because I still have to deploy my payload as well. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Okay, I'm thinking this is pretty good here, actually. No, let's just keep going. Let's wait for the engine to stop. I don't know if this engine actually does stop, though. Okay, there we go. You know what? I'm gonna deploy the payload. And, oh my god. I want to see the actual payload. Okay, there it is. Can we can we connect to it? Yes. So that happened really quickly, much quicker than I was hoping for. But the payload has indeed been deployed. And if we were in the weightlessness of space, it would be totally successful. I think it's actually slowly falling back to Earth, though, because there is no weightlessness up here. So yeah, I gotta say, that's a pretty impressive rocket, though. I especially like the, uh, the fifth stage there. Let's actually just do it on the ground just to see what happened exactly. Uh, because that's the coolest one to me. So, it actually, like... Oh, dude, there's... It shoots off the top, and then the payload's ready to deploy. I did both of these stages at exactly the same time. Uh, but yes, you just simply deploy the payload after that. So yeah, SpaceX Falcon 1, really impressive rocket in Besiege. And from science to religion, we have the Holy Bibble. Uh, yes, this is indeed a Holy Bible, and, uh, it's also weaponized because that's pretty freaking amazing, actually. Look at that. God, it's like a minigun. Jesus! Okay, and surprise, surprise, it actually flies as well. So, Besiege creators just think of everything. Oh, man, this thing's got- Oh, Jesus. Oh, lordy, I've never driven a Bible before, so give me a second here. Jesus Christ. Oh. Didn't do it. All right, sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to destroy the Bible, but uh, that's going to happen probably many a times because this thing, don't get me wrong, it's like really impressive how it kind of flies, but it's very rigid and almost too fast to the point where it's just extremely hard to control. As you can clearly see, I was hoping to actually use these guns to my advantage, but I don't think it's going to actually work here. Okay, so let's just try and stabilize it a little bit. It doesn't like to go in a straight line very well. I mean, it does go in a straight line very well, but it's hard to align it, is what I was trying to say. Damn it! I'm just gonna destroy all the Bibles. Okay, it does have cameras. Oh, okay, so we can actually see the guns now. So it's a four-mounted cannon gun. Can we actually... Oh, man, this is... This is really difficult to use. Okay, coming back around. Can we actually get something done? Let's see if we can... I mean, sorry, Peasant Village. I gotta go for something. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yes, the, the Bible is by far the hardest thing I've ever had to fly. I feel like if I, if I was ever actually driving a UFO, it would kind of drive like this. It's just extremely rigid and straight, uh, but it's very hard to control. Well, if you ever wondered what a hedgehog would be like as a superhero, this is pretty much your guy. Uh, this is called Cannonbolt, and Cannonbolt, pretty simple design here, but I love it. It, 
<laughs> oh my god, can he actually stand back up? Yes, he indeed can. So it is basically a rolling ball of doom. I, I love everything about this. So let's see how good this rolling feature is, though. So I'm turning right now. You can turn while going as well, but I want to kind of align myself. And... Oh, this is weird. This is really weird. It's actually got some speed, as you can see, as well. Okay, slow down, Cannonbolt. Slow down. Let's let's turn you back into your ordinary form. Unfortunately, in his ordinary form, he can't do anything. He's basically like a glorified statue. Uh, but still, I mean, how cool is this? We're just basically a giant ball of doom. All right, got the little one. Still got to get, got to get the big one, Cannonbolt. Can we keep going here? Oh, watch out for the bomb. God, this is like breakdancing at this point. Very hard to control this guy. Uh, goes in a straight line quite well, but actually trying to steer him is not the easiest thing. Get out of the way, sheep. Do you have a death wish? Clearly you do. All right, well, he didn't actually die, so that's impressive. Damn it, if I wasn't on this side, we, we, we would have had it. Okay, there we go, there we go. Come on, Cannonbolt, you can do it! You can do it! Yes! Okay, that felt pretty good. Took way too long to aim this thing up, uh, but Cannonbolt clearly isn't about accuracy. He's just a big round ball, man. All right, don't get me wrong, destroying castles is fun, but let's try and destroy something a little bit bigger. This is a 150 meter high rise building that is made by Manabi. We have checked out some of his designs before, and uh, they're pretty renowned at being very hard for me to destroy. So I don't know if we'll be able to take this whole thing down, but we should be able to do some sweet destruction with this thing, and I think this is the perfect weapon for doing this. So let's take the first shot, try and weaken the bottom a little bit. Now, the hard part about these structures are the actual reinforcements. I am seeing reinforcements fall, though, so we might actually have this. I'm gonna slow this down just a little bit. Uh-oh, something's going on with my gun. My, my, my recoil system is not functioning the same as, oh god. Oh man, the weapon got destroyed before the target. Are you serious? Yeah, I can't. It's not even aiming right now, as you can see. What's going on here? Let's actually get out of this view. Uh, yeah, it is not looking good now. Unfortunately, I can't move my camera because uh, this this structure or this uh, weapon is using the right click to aim. But it's definitely there's something seriously broken. Yeah, you can see it's not turning when I turn. That's generally a bad sign. Okay, I'm noticing up top, sometimes, as you can see, the support beams do fall off. So I'm thinking the issue is I usually focus on the bottom, but there's so much weight being pushed on those that you can't move the, the structural beams. So if we go to the top and slowly make this thing crumble, that might be where this is going to do it. Oh yeah, you can see lots of beams falling right now. Still, this, this thing is so well reinforced, I don't know if we'll be able to actually do it. Come on, baby. That was a direct hit into the beam, and it bounced right off, as you can see. So you got to get a little bit lucky as well. Now, I should mention, you can also hold the uh, trigger on this thing and basically auto-shoot, which is great. Don't get me wrong, but that's how I broke this thing. So I don't want to do that too much. Uh, but the, the firepower of this thing is just absolutely ridiculous. And as you can see, the top of the structure is... I don't know if the whole structure is breaking... But the top is indeed breaking. Yes, we are losing the sides of the structure here. This is beautiful. This is great. I might actually take this whole sucker down for once. And as you can see, very little lag. So it's always nice to destroy something and not have to deal with the lag in this game because, I mean, this prestige is pretty renowned for having some pretty crazy lag. And we might actually get the whole thing to fall. I was hoping it would crumble under its own weight after we took out a few of the top ones. It's actually very stable. You can see this side, it doesn't want to go down, man. Oh, but I think we got it. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's actually slowly crumbling, too. And there we go. The top's going down, as you can see. Uh, let's actually speed this up a bit and not shoot so it doesn't lag too much. And kind of see where we're at with this thing. So you can see I can go all the way up to 70 and stably get that uh, to at least like 30 FPS, which is really nice. You can see, though, the amount of damage I did. Usually most structures would crumble under that, but this thing is still supported uh, at least part of it is, and it doesn't look like it's gonna fall anymore. So yeah, a little under a thousand blocks on this thing, so that's pretty impressive for the size of this. And, uh, yeah, well, I guess you would say we took it down, at least most of it. Okay, and here we have the Furry Nurse, as it's called. Now, this is made by a Chinese creator, and I very rarely get giddy in this game, but, uh, this one excites me. So this is, well, just a to totally normal... You know, it looks to be ambulance, I would say. I'm not actually even sure. Now, obviously, nothing is normal in Besiege. I mean, we know that. You might... <laughs> uh, you might 
think the uh, seats are looking a little weird, aren't they? Well, when we press a button here, oh my god. Oh my god. It's been a while since we've seen a Transformer like that. Look at this. This bot looks great as well. Nice rubber you got there. I, I, <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy though. I mean, very rarely you see a Transformer of this caliber in this game. Let's just appreciate that transformation though. And the fact that it's drivable. And, well, okay, so, it's, it's, I mean, we, we, we're having hand issues and whatnot. That, that's normal when it comes to Transformers and whatnot. Let's actually see if we can fix that a little bit. Just, just gotta get that out of there. There we go. See? Now it's fixed. But, yeah, it's a Transformer. Not only that, I mean, it's got the small details as well. We can check under the hood, make sure the engine's doing okay, a.k.a. the robot under there. We can open the back as well, and there's actually some detail back here, like there's a, there's a med bed. Uh, these are actually cabinets on the left and right like there's been a lot of design features going into this thing and I believe we can control it in robot form as well. This is made by a Chinese creator So I had to translate everything and uh, translators are never the best, but my god It's beautiful to say the least so we should be able to oh my god Okay, so obviously there's some weightlessness going on, but it's actually a walking bipedal robot as well. I'm turning it. My god. And the animation, like, when it comes to the, the realistic walking, look absolutely amazing. This might be my favorite Transformer ever. I am blown away. I mean, we've seen the biggest Transformer creator is Star Ellie. He hasn't been making much as of late. And it's nice to see somebody is coming out and kind of following what he did because uh, there's not enough Transformers in Besiege and this is one amazing one. There's a few other things as well. I think we can actually, can we control the arms? Yes, yeah, so I can actually control the arms. There's different controls with that. There's a lot of controls with this thing, guys, so I'm just scratching the surface and like I said, made by a Chinese creator, so it's very hard to understand everything. Uh, small arms? Oh, elbows, okay. <laughs> small arms in Chinese is elbows, if you are curious. <laughs> Small hand grasping. I'm assuming, yes, you can. It actually has finger grasping as well. So you could technically grab things in this game. My god. Now, what happens if we try and transform back now, now that we've moved the arms? Does it actually acknowledge that and turn back? Let's find out. Holy crap, you can. I'm thinking. It resets everything. So if you did move the hands around during the transformation, it actually resets them as well. This is bar none, the best Transformer I've ever seen. It's just, it works well, it's easy to control, it's not too complex, and in car form, I mean, unless you're looking really close, you would not know that is a Transformer in Besiege. That is amazing. So props where props is due. This is made by Denai9. Uh, I hope I see many more Transformers coming out from him because, or her, I'm not actually sure. Uh, but this thing is absolutely amazing. Once again, I, I just, I just, I love the transformation. Oh, we broke something off finally. Uh, but I've transformed it, formed it like five times now. God damn, that's impressive. And it wouldn't be a Besiege episode if we didn't destroy the Duke's plea at least once. So we gotta do it today, and I figured I'd show you guys a tank. Well, kind of a tank. This is the AIO 200 Prototype F. It is a flak cannon tank, or a flak tank, I guess you would call it. So yeah, we have two flak cannons on the top. No actual cannons on this one, so this should be pretty interesting. I've not really seen many tanks like this. As you can see, quite quick, we are going unfortunately slow because tank treads don't like high FPS. Uh, simple enough to use, basically you can aim it up, and there's a few different cameras on this thing. So yeah, we have this view here, so this should help aiming it up at least, and we have a back camera, and that is it. And there's basically just one button to press. It's as simple as an auto cannon. so bam, it is up, and we are <laughs> destroying right away, as a flat cannon should. Oh, this feels pretty good. Okay, that might be a world record on taking out the Duke's plate. Okay, slow down, Ken. We don't need to shoot anymore. And yeah, that's some serious destruction. Okay, and uh, we're gonna wrap it up on this one, guys. This is the Renault Maskell. Um, yeah, I have so many questions right now. I love the very realistic hands and legs, though. There is a lot of detail that went into these. Okay, so I've never driven this before. Is it, is it driving? Is it running? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you guys answer that in the, in the comments below. Let's try it out, though. Oh, my God, it jumps. It freaking jumps. Okay, so there was a GIF on the design page of this thing. I'm assuming this is like a meme, right? But it's... 
<laughs> okay. I thought I'd actually try and run. This is actually better, though. I, I appreciate this. This is horrifying, to say the least. But hey, it wouldn't be a Besiege episode with at least one of these creations. All right, so on that, guys, we're going to wrap up this one here. I hope I don't uh, give you too many nightmares today. <laughs> this thing is great, though. I love it. Uh, as always, if you do want to download any creations that you saw in this episode, including this great one here, links will be in the description of the video. Thank you guys so much for watch watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I'm having problems here. Okay, I think we're. I think I think I broke my arms.